Hello, hello, and welcome to my kitchen. In this video, I present you my delicious sweet and salty caramel popcorn. This is great for movie night. You don't want to miss out on this recipe. So let's get started with our ingredients. We're going to need eight cups of freshly popped popcorn. I do do this myself. I'm using this brand. You can use any brand you like. And to pop the popcorn, I'm going to use coconut oil. I'm going to need two sticks of unsalted butter. One third cup corn syrup. One teaspoon salt. You can omit the salt, but then again, this is why it's sweet and salty. One teaspoon baking soda. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. One and a half cups of brown sugar. So let's get started with the process. Here I added some coconut oil and some popcorn. We are going to pop this. And here is the popcorn already popped. You're going to want to just throw this into a large bowl and have it ready for our caramel. And you're going to want to have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper ready. Go ahead and add your butter, brown sugar, and your corn syrup. We are going to cook this on low because you do not want to burn it. You're going to just keep stirring this until it melts. So here is the melted caramel already. Now to this we're going to add our vanilla. Add the salt and add the baking soda. Give this a quick stir and once it starts to turn a light color and it starts to thicken up, this is ready. You don't want to keep stirring this because you will burn it. Turn the stove off and start pouring that all over your popcorn, making sure that it is enough to cover everything. You want to give it a quick stir with the spoon. And here it's all covered. Now what you want to do is lay this on your cookie sheet and make sure it's all spread out because we are going to bake this in the oven. Preheat your oven 200 to 225 and once this is all spread we are going to pop it in there and we are going to pretty much bake it for one hour. So we're going to do 15 minutes, 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes you're going to take it out and stir. It could be between 45 minutes to one hour. So you want to just keep checking. So mine was done after 45 minutes and here it is. We're going to lay it out on another cookie sheet and just let it harden up. Okay. 
and it's all done. Nice and crunchy. It is delicious. Well, I hope you all liked my video and I hope that you do make this recipe. Thank you for watching. Bye everybody.